Hey guys, Corel Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So uh, there are a number of reports out there that say that the Mets are close to signing Mike Jacobs and possibly bringing him in some type of minor league deal or league minimum type of deal. And maybe he uh, would compete with Daniel Murphy for first base. You know, we'll see about that. But with that said, that got me to thinking about the Mets lineup for 2010 and what the lineup might potentially look like. And it got me to thinking about sort of the production of this team in, in uh, two categories, really uh, their uh, home run numbers and RBIs. And with that said, um, I was thinking about this. And even if Jose Reyes comes back and he's 100 percent healthy, Beltran recovers nicely from his injury. And let's say Jason Bay does have a, a pretty good or decent year and Wright's power numbers pick up. Uh, from what he did last year in my opinion I still don't think that the Mets have enough offense to to compete really from an offensive standpoint um, and I don't think that they're going to get much out of the catching position in terms of power and, and RBI production they definitely won't get that out of Luis Castillo at first base and with Daniel Murphy he's not your traditional first baseman meaning he's not going to hit 30 home runs so that leads me to Jeff Francoeur and what he could possibly do and what his potential might be. And I think from an offensive standpoint, if the Mets are going to have a productive year, if all of the, the core players, if all of the key players do their thing, I still think that Jeff Francoeur is going to need to have a really good season for the Mets to be productive offensively uh, and for that lineup to be extended and, and for um, that lineup to drive in a lot of runs, score a lot of runs, so on and so forth. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I think the Mets brought Francoeur here in that trade for Ryan Church. Even though he's had some down years lately, um, he has put up some really good offensive numbers in the past, which means that he has the potential to do it again, more so than maybe a Ryan Church would have. And I think that's why the Mets made that trade. And, I, and when I say this, I'm not expecting Frank Corr to hit 29 home runs like he did in 2006, but let me read to you his 2007 numbers. In 2007, Frank Corr had 40 doubles, 19 home runs, 105 RBIs, and he batted 293. Now, if you can if you, if you can plug those numbers into the Mets lineup for this year, or if Frank Cor can come somewhere close to to matching those numbers in 2010, and the core players do what they're supposed to do, I think offensively the Mets would be okay. But I think that uh, you know everyone's talking about Reyes, Wright, Beltran, Bay, with good reason because those guys do have to play to the level that they're capable of. But I really think for the Mets as, a, as an entire unit to be consistent all year long offensively, they're going to need something out of Jeff Francoeur. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this post. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon.